Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. I wanted to do a quick video about the equinox, which is taking place on Wednesday, the 20th of March. Now, equinox is the time in the year where we have equal amounts of light and dark, day and night. So it is, as the name suggests, very much a time of connecting to that inner balance of bringing equilibrium in and of finding that point, that middle ground, that point of stillness where you're not pulled in one direction or the other, but you can come in and be fully centred. Now, in astrology, it is the point at which the sun moves into zero degrees of Aries, which is the very first degree of the zodiac. So regardless of whether you are in the northern or the southern hemisphere, and obviously for the northern hemisphere, this is the first day of spring, we are at a point where we are experiencing something new. Now, the zero degree point is really interesting because it is the creator point. It is where we have nothing but pure potential. And it is always represents a new beginning, rebirth, renewal, something fresh and new and exciting is coming in. Now, Aries, zero degrees of Aries is also on the world axis in astrology. So anything that happens at this time is likely to affect all of us at sort of a collective level. Um, and it is also because we're thinking about Aries, obviously Aries being the first sign of the zodiac, you know, this in itself, the sign, the energy is about new starts, but it's also about having the courage to go out and start something new. Aries brings the energy of the pioneer. It's about taking a leap of faith. I always think of the fool card in the tarot, where you don't necessarily know where you are going, but you have enough trust and enough faith to take that step and to move forward. And Aries is also about leadership, but about being your own leader. So we're thinking about sovereignty here. And um, there is also a reminder that the point of creation lies within the self. So it lies within each of us and we don't have to sort of wait or rely or depend on anybody or anything else to sort of bring into being what it is that we seek and want most of all, whether that is for a personal sort of um, aim and goal or a collective. Now, obviously, we have the equinox every year. The Aries spring equinox happens every year. But we always look to see what else is happening in the chart. And it is a particularly powerful and potent equinox this year for a number of reasons. Now, first of all, we are in eclipse season. So we are five days in advance of the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, which is taking place on the 25th of March. And I will be doing a separate video about that because it is really, really interesting. We also have a lot of Aries energy. So we have Eris and Chiron, who have been in Aries for some time, but they are still in Aries. Mercury is in Aries. The North Node is in Aries, and obviously the Sun will have just moved in. So that is a strong focus on the Aries energy itself. And Aries being the first of the fire signs, so this is sort of about action, but it's also a spark because fire creates a spark and something is being ignited and you know what it's going to build into we don't necessarily know but this is definitely a point of new beginnings and new starts now just looking at the other planets in the zodiac and i'm not going to go into all of them because you know it would make this video very lengthy but the ones that are standing out is the fact that the moon which represents our emotions and how we feel and what we need to make us feel safe is in the sign of leo now the moon is in a trine to the sun so there's a very beautiful harmonic sort of supportive flow of energy before between the sun and the moon in this chart. Leo is the sign of royalty, which is really interesting given sort of what's going on in the UK. Um, it is also the sign that 
requires us to step more fully into our heart center and to act from a point of heart consciousness. So Leo wants us to be authentic, to be true to ourselves and to shine bright in sort of an unadorned, unapologetic version of ourselves and to be proud of who we are and to really um, sort of have the courage to be ourselves and to stand in our own sovereignty. Now, the moon is also opposing Pluto in Aquarius. So Pluto is very much about empowerment and power and also transformation for our evolution and our soul growth. So again, Pluto is really encouraging the moon in Leo to step into a more empowered version of itself. And obviously the moon represents the people. So we're talking about us here. And um, we also have a slightly wider conjunction with the moon to one of the fixed stars in Rokankri, which is the diamond star. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but this is activating diamond light codes for us yet again, encouraging us to embody more light, but light of a much higher frequency than perhaps we have been used to before so that we can raise our consciousness and spread out sort of our unique essence in fractals all around us. Um, so that is really, really beautiful energy to be working with at this equinox. And um, we also have the sun in a conjunction to a fixed star in the Pegasus constellation called Shayat. And this is winged horse, the winged messenger. So there is information coming through here, but also the ability to rise up, to see the bigger picture, to have more clarity about who you are. And obviously the sun in Aries is all about the self and stepping into the true and authentic version of you. So you can see the themes coming through really strongly here. Shayat also gives us prophetic ability. So the ability to maybe see what's coming or know what's coming and to feel that within ourselves. There is also an opposition with the sun to the super galactic centre at two degrees in Libra. So again, we have very cosmic, very high frequency energies coming through here with this activation. And the moon, sorry, Pluto is also in a trine to this point. So again, you know, the, the, the sun, the moon and Pluto are all working together with the super galactic center um, to really push growth and evolution but with the support of much higher cosmic energies than again perhaps we have been used to working with. So this is a really powerful time. I have done a video about the super galactic center which I will link to because I don't want to make this video too long and go into the detail here. And um, the other point that I just wanted to well, there's two, obviously back to Pluto. Pluto is conjunct Altair, which is the eagle in the Aquila constellation. So again, this is about rising up, having courage, being able to see the bigger picture. So again, these themes are repeating as the fixed stars are activated by the different planets in the chart. And Mercury is in a conjunction to Chiron and the North Node. Now, Mercury represents information facts. It represents our mindset and our understanding of certain situations. It's also um, communication, the media. And when it is aligned with Chiron, which represents our deepest core wound and the North Node, which represents our evolution and our soul growth and our soul purpose and where we are heading as a collective, as part of our soul's evolution and humanity's evolution, so, you know, quite big stuff. There is possibly information coming through at this point, which will help us. It will possibly trigger a wound, but ultimately it's going to help us to heal our wounds and push us forward. So make us step out of our comfort zone potentially and consider things that we might not have done prior to now. And in Aries, this is all about our identity, about the self, about our right to exist and who we truly are. So there is a lot of really beautiful energy going on in this chart. Um, and I just wanted to sort of highlight the main things. So as with everything, you know, we are in a really 
critical time period now as we move through the second half of March past the eclipse into April, which is even more, um, well, I'm going to say crazy, but let's, let's also call it interesting in terms of what's happening in the astrology and the energies in April. So, um, yeah, it's, I would say, take the time, take the opportunity if you can on Wednesday to come into the self, to centre yourself, to find that point of stillness, whether that's sort of a walk in nature, whether that's sitting down on a yoga mat and doing some meditation or just coming into the body. But find that balance, find that equilibrium, because it's going to kind of create a solid platform for what lies ahead in terms of the massive changes that we're going to be experiencing and living through. Um, and also, you know, it is effectively, it's it's a new year, obviously, um, you know, we celebrate new year at the beginning of January, but this in astrological terms and energetic terms is the start of the new year. So it is a great time to start thinking about what it is that you want to bring in and focus on next. So I hope you found that useful. I'm Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. Find out more about my work at spiralbright.co.uk and I will be back very soon with my um, video about the lunar eclipse in Libra. Thanks for watching.